Jim. For this week's Innovative Educator, we head out to Homedale, where a first grade teacher is giving her students and their school pledge a whole new meaning. Our Shiro Matuzawa tells us about Rebecca Jenkins, who teach, who's teaching her kids to be inclusive one sign at a time. At Homedale Elementary. The first graders in Rebecca Jenkins' class are getting a lot of attention, not for what they're saying out loud, but for what they're signing. I will try hard so my grade can grow. This is the Homedale Elementary Pledge. The students pledge to be respectful. I will show respect for people, my school, and myself. As well as responsible and safe. It just kind of helps them stick it in their brain. Rebecca taught her students to sign the school pledge for the first time last year, and then again this year. I know that kinetically, like, students learn better when they're able to put emotion to something. And uh, so when we, when we have this Trojan pledge, instead of just reciting it. She learned some sign language when she taught developmental preschool, but she also had a personal experience with it. One of my first years uh, teaching, I had a student who, uh, her mom was uh, deaf, and so we, uh, she taught me a little bit of signing. At the beginning of the year, we talk about what does that mean to be responsible, and then, okay, so this is responsible. That's putting that weight on, and then what does it mean to be um, respectful? Okay, respect. This is a sign for respect, so we're going to, um, you know, whisper and, and be respectful. And the first graders love it. They're like it's so excited about it because they're like, oh, wow, that's really cool. They love it. They love being able to uh, do the sign language. Rebecca even incorporated sign language into other lessons. We'll sign um, the alphabet in the lunch line. We'll do um, I'll have them sign um, counting up to 10 and back down. And remember that student who sparked Rebecca's interest in teaching sign language in class? Her little sister's now in my class this year. And so it's really fun to see that same um, family and then having those same signs and, and different things like that in the class. It's a lot of fun. The most rewarding part, Rebecca knows with each sign, her students are signing their way to being more open minded and having a better understanding that we are all different. Making them more aware that it that there are other people in the world in other ways, um, not just us speaking to one another. There's other ways to communicate. And that's exactly what she's doing. Rebecca Jenkins, Innovative Educator. Well, in case you're wondering what was behind Rebecca in the video, it's actually a sound wall. It's meant to help kids learn how to spell better. And Rebecca says that the students who she taught to sign last year are now in second grade. And some of the teachers say that they're still signing. If you would like to nominate an innovative educator who is going above and beyond, send us an email to innovativeeducator at ktvb.com. Educators, for more information on submitting an application for a classroom grant through the Idaho CapEd Foundation, we have a link to that information on our website at ktvb.com.